Welcome back. We are still working on compositions of transformations. We have done three examples so far where we've been given two different things we want to do to a pre-image so that we can find our new image. In example four, triangle TAB is translated four units to the right and two units down and then reflected across the y-axis to points T double prime which is at 410, A double prime at 65, and B double prime 1, 2. Find the coordinates of the pre-image. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write myself a rule, just like we had been doing in the previous problems. Okay. So for my rule, I know that I'm going to start with my pre-image. That is my original x, y. That's going to be my T, my A, and my B that I'm going to be trying to find. Then I'm going to take that pre-image and I'm going to translate it. And what am I going to do? I'm going to do four units to the right, so that's going to affect my X. And if we're going to the right, that means we're increasing X, four units. And then two units down, so that's going to affect my Y value. And if I'm going down, I'm going to take away two units. Then after that we are going to reflect across the Y. And again, if I have forgotten that rule already, I have my transformation rules so that if I'm asked to rotate or reflect, I have all of those rules right here. This one's asking me to reflect across the Y axis, so my final rule over here is going to be the opposite of X, Y. The opposite of X, Y. The opposite of X, Y. So there is my rule. Now, kind of interestingly, they've given me my end result. So they've given me T double prime is 410. A double prime is 65. And B double prime is 1, 2. Okay, so if I graph those, 4, 10. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have a 10 by 10 graph. This is T double prime. A is at 6, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A double prime. And B is at 1, 2. 1, 2. B double prime. So this is my image. I'm going to work backwards to find where my original pre-image started. Okay. Now, to get to this one, I reflected my pit stop. So I need to go back and figure out what my pit stop was. Right? Where did I come from? to get here. So I need to figure out what was my T prime, what was my A prime, and what was my B prime. Okay? Now I know that to get from here to here I did the opposite of X, Y. So what was the opposite? What was this the opposite of? Well, the opposite of this would be negative four, and then my y would stay the ten. So the opposite of negative four would be four, and then ten would be my y value. What is six the opposite of? Six is the opposite of negative six, and then y is five. What was the opposite of one? Negative one, and then y was two, and then we can check. The opposite of x is 4, y is 10. The opposite of negative 6 is 6, y is 5. The opposite of 1 is, or negative 1 is 1, y is 2. Okay, so this is like my pit stuff. I'm still trying to work all the way back to t, a, and b. This is t prime, a prime, b prime. So t prime is at negative 4, 10. here, t prime, a prime is at negative 6, 5, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, A prime, and B is at negative one, two, negative one, two, B prime. So this is not a, an image or pre-image. This is like a pit stop on the way. So I can see this has just been reflected from here over to my image. Okay? All right, so now we need to figure out how to get back to the original pre-image that is going to be my answer because that's what it was looking for. Okay? So I need to go, okay, how did I get from my pre-image to my image when I wanted to translate to the right four and down two. So remember, if I'm working backwards, I need to do the opposite of what is here when I'm doing translation. So what did I add four to to get a negative four? So to go backwards, I'm really going to do the opposite of this. I'm going to be subtracting four. So to find t, if I subtract four, I'm going to be at negative eight. So that way when I do negative eight plus four, I get to the negative ten. To work backwards, I need to do the opposite and add two. So this would be 12, so that when I do 12 minus 2, I get to 10. Okay? Then my next one here, a prime. Again, we're going to work backwards to find a. So negative 6, I'm going to take away 4 from that. So I'm going to end up at negative 6 minus 4 is going to be a negative 10. And then 5 plus 2 is going to put me at 7. So that way, if I check it going back forwards, negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. 7 minus 2 is 5. So again, we're just working backwards. Okay? All right, so then here I'm going to work backwards. Negative 1 minus 4 is going to put me in negative 5. 2 plus 2 is going to put me at 4. So that way when I go to the right, negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. 4 minus 2 is is 2. So here are my new, or my final, my original answer points. So, and I know one of them, at least t, is going to fall off my graph, but that's okay. Negative 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I know this is 10, 11, 12, so it's going to be like right here, above the e. This is where my point t is going to be, and notice it's to the right Four and down two to get to my to translate to my t prime. A is at negative ten, seven. And notice when I translate four and negative two, one, two, three, four, negative two. And V is at negative five, four. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Here is my original image point B. And if I translate to the right four and down two, one, two, three, four, one, two, I can see that I do land on that B prime. So here is what my pre-image looked like so that when I applied this translation and this reflection, I ended up with these points as my image. So here is us working backwards to find our pre-image points. All right, if you have any questions on applying any of these transformation rules, make sure you are attending your sync time so that during your sync time or after your sync time during tutoring, you can ask any questions that you still have. All right, thank you so much for watching.